Micro Sioux was established in 1963 and has been working towards Biaz's four aims for many years. One of those aims is to deliver highest quality environmental education, training and research. Twycross works alongside schools to organise day trips and education sessions that are in line with the students' curriculum. These sessions allow children ranging from nursery to GCSE level to get involved with animal husbandry, teach them some of the fundamentals of working with animals as well as teach them about the animal's natural habitat. They also offer classes to older children and adult groups. This provides a zoo with an additional income as well as helping to inspire the next generation of zookeepers. Twycross works with around 27 universities in the UK, helping students achieve undergraduate and postgraduate degrees. This also helps them to find new staff that are highly qualified, as Twycross states that all animal keepers need relevant degrees and in some cases postgraduate degrees in order to be eligible for a position. The signage and scheduled animal talks are used to educate the general public on each animal's conservation status and provide some background information on the species. Most of the signs in Twycross are eye-catching and easy to find, showing a close-up picture of the animal as well as giving some brief notes on its wild counterparts. Unfortunately, not all the signs were easy to read and some have been damaged by the sun or scratched over time. Having talks on some of the more popular animals is useful as it gives people a chance to ask the keeper questions. However, it can attract large crowds of loud people and excited children that tap on the glass of the animal enclosures. This could compromise the animal's welfare and should be more controlled at Twycross. Upon interviewing visitors at the zoo, it became clear that the public felt pleased with the education provided at Twycross and they all felt like they had gained some new information as a direct result of their visit. The zoo does seem to fall short when it comes to current research. There is limited information on the work that they do and at the moment they only have one project underway. As a whole, Twycross Zoo does well to work towards Biaz's aims, but they need to divide their attention more evenly between the three areas, as the education and training opportunities are extensive, but their research is very limited and seems to piggyback on the other two areas.